Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. I am so excited for today's conversation because I have a fellow mompreneur, Renee O'Neill, joining me today. And we are just talking all about navigating motherhood and entrepreneurship and all of the things as that we do as moms. So without further ado, Renee, welcome in. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Amy. I'm so thrilled to be here. I am so thrilled to connect face to face with you. You know, our listeners can't see you, but this is so incredible because you are in Australia. And this just goes to show the power of social media, the power of technology when we use it as a a tool instead of a weapon to connect, to truly build our network and so many good things. Renee, welcome into the podcast. Tell us more about who you are and what you do. Yes. Yeah, so like you, I also am a mum. I have two children and my eldest has recently turned 10, which I just don't understand where that time's gone. And I've had a lot of people say to me, oh, double digits. And I'm like, stop, like this is too much. Um, so I have a 10 year old. I also have a six year old. So two children and I'm a life and business coach for mums. So You and I, Amy, very much have the same mission in what it is that we're wanting to do. And that is helping mums really see and understand that they can be the successful business owner that they're wanting to be, whilst also being that present mum that they're wanting to be as well. Because, you know, something we were talking about off off air was, you know, that sometimes there's this belief that mums have that they can only be a successful business owner or be the mum that they're wanting to be, that they can't actually have both. And you and I both believe strongly that that's not the case. And so we're both here to really show that in what we're doing ourselves, but also help empower other mums to have that for themselves and have that life and that business that they're wanting to have that really fulfills them. And, you know, understand that this is possible for you. So for the listener, you know, I, I, that's what I, I most want. I love it because yes, you can have it all. You do not have to choose. And that's what I love about the work that we're doing. And as we were talking off air, it's, you don't have to choose one over the other. When did you first realize that? (laughs) Who? Well, I mean, to be completely honest, I've had a business free children and it wasn't the business that I'm doing now, but I've had businesses in the past free children. And then when my, my kids came along, I really wanted more, you know, I wanted more for my life. I think, you know, in my early stages of motherhood, I didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel like there was like almost like this missing puzzle piece that was missing. And I was like, there's just something, I just feel like there's something missing. And so that is when I went down the path of, you know, creating a business. Um, And at that time, it was something completely different to what I'm doing now. So I had created a bath and body product range and I just loved it. And I think that passion for business came back. And for me, because I had the kids, I wanted the time flexibility. And I think all mums can resonate with that. All mums can be like, you know, this is one of my biggest whys in having my own business is I want the flexibility and freedom that a business allows. And so for me, I, you know, at the time I was also in a part-time job, juggling all the things as us mums are really good at. And I didn't want to return to that. Once I had the kids, I was like, this is just no longer the lifestyle that I want. And I I don't know, I think for us mums that that really sometimes is a fuel to our passion and what we're wanting because we're not just doing it for ourselves anymore. We're doing it for our kids and our family and the lifestyle that we're wanting to create. And so, you know, the kids really, I'm so damn grateful for them for all sorts of reasons, of course, but 
I think they've just made me a bit better business owner as well because they've made me really chase after what it is that I'm wanting and go after those things and, you know, create this life that we now have thanks to them. I mean, they, they were my, my big reason why. And, you know, it's something that I have definitely never looked back on. And I think for, for the listener, you know, if there's something that you're wanting to create, if there's, you feel like you've got that missing puzzle piece, or there's always been that one day I'd like to, or I wonder if, you know, if you've got any of that, my gosh, my biggest advice would just be chase that, you know, go after that, take those steps. You just never know where it will land you. And it's always interesting too, I feel, because, you know, for me, having had businesses in the past that are different to what I have now, um, I, I really feel like taking that one step in front of the other takes you on this journey and this path and you just don't know what will unfold from there. And I think, you know, being able to tap into your desires, your passions, and also even your intuition and letting that guide you, it'll open up the doors to so much more. And I, I just think you'll be so surprised where it takes you. And, you know, you'll look back on your journey and think, wow, look at what I've created. And I think there's also a legacy piece to it too, because your kids get to watch you create this life for yourself. And it shows them the possibilities as well, which that in itself is just incredible. It, it truly is. And I relate so closely to everything that you said because yes, once you know that that bigger why, like this isn't just for me, this is for my family. I am showing my kids that it is possible that you can navigate both. You just have to be intentional. I think as moms, we forget that how we spend our time is a choice. And when you take that step back and analyze, how am I spending my time? You can become more intentional. And then you can start to realize, oh, okay, I'm wasting a whole lot of time just scrolling on social media, judging myself and comparing myself to other people versus actually doing the things that would move my business forward. And I relate to your story in that too. My first business is totally different than what I'm doing now, but it was in creating that. It was having that as part of my journey that led me exactly here because it's like I want to be that person that shows women it's possible. And I love how there's other women like yourself that are doing that very same thing. And together, we will change the narrative. It's not a matter of if, it's we will change that narrative that as moms, yes, we can have it all. And just the intuition piece too that you spoke upon. Our intuition is so gosh darn good and we ignore it a lot. Do you find that with, with the clients that you're working with? You, you know the answer. You know what your gut's telling you to do. You know what your heart's telling you to do. Yet we hold ourselves back. Mm, yes, it's it's one of those things where you, I see it a lot with clients. And, you know, I've experienced it myself. You know, we're not immune to these things either. And I think sometimes it's so easy. I think, you know, you touched on this with social media is we look to social media, we see people creating the kinds of things that we're wanting to create, the success that we're wanting to have for ourselves. And we get in a place where we do compare or we feel like we need to follow what their secret recipe is, what their secret formula is. And I think we're also you know, very marketed to in that perspective as well of, you know, I have the one, two, three step formula, this will create the success you need. And so we follow and we do as others are projecting to us or as we are told, or we feel like we need to follow somebody else's strategy. And then we're often disappointed in the results that we receive because it doesn't align with us. And I think you are so correct, you know, us as mums in particular, we have this really great GPS inside of us in our intuition and that can help guide us through all the ups and downs and challenges and highs and lows of entrepreneurship, but also motherhood as well. And I think it's being able to really tune into that and tap into that and letting that guide us. And, you know, I know it can feel like something that we have lost. 
I think sometimes we feel like I don't have the answers though. I don't know. And it's a matter of tuning back into it and it's taking the small steps. So, you know, it might be, and, and I mean, there's so many different examples, but, you know, you might feel like you look outside and it's a really nice sunny day. There's something telling you, I should take the umbrella today. You know, tune into that, take the umbrella. It'll probably rain later and you'll be like, huh, how did I know that? So, you know, when you get these little gut instincts, these little, these little knowings, just follow them out of curiosity and just see what happens. But you'll be surprised because the more and more you tap into it and you follow these little knowings, these little inklings that you're getting, these little niggles, you'll be like, hang on a minute, I've really got something here. And then you can start implementing it on a bigger scale and a grander scale and in the business. But I definitely feel like we can so easily lose ourselves when we're not tuning into that intuition. And, you know, it is there to serve us and and guide us in the best possible way. And, you know, in business in particular, I've definitely found that. And, you know, I know for me, I've worked with mentors and coaches and I, I've been the good girl, the good student who has followed exactly as I'm told. I followed this strategy and the whole time it has felt off and it's felt like something's not right here. And then I think to myself, no, it must have been fear. It's fear that's stopping me. And you know what? I get to the end and I'm like, I should have trusted my gut instincts. This is not the strategy for me. And I think, you know, just being able to stop and, and ask yourself, like, what do I want? What What is it that I'm wanting to create? What do I enjoy? Another piece of it, you know, what do I enjoy? And then again, following those things. And I think, you know, some of that can come back to our values as well. And our values are, you know, those things that are most important to us. You know, if you're making a decision or there's a, a strategy being, you know, you're debating on, just set that up against your goal, uh, your values and ask yourself, you know, do these align with me? Is this the direction I'm wanting to head in? Is this something that feels good to me? Is it something I'll enjoy? Start questioning these things and that'll certainly help you moving forward um, with decisions that you're making and following that gut instincts that you have as well. Yes. Oh, so much value in all of those statements because yes, The unknown is scary. It is scary as hell as a business owner most days when you're just taking messy action, taking that consistent action, do it scared. If it doesn't work out, guess what? That's just information. That's just guiding you closer to your purpose. And when you know those core values, when you really know your why, it makes everything so much easier because now you're taking action that's aligned with your your inner GPS. And I just, I love everything that you said. And two, finding what works for you. Who cares if it's something different than what everybody else is doing? That's what makes you different. That's your secret sauce. And that's, I think, as moms, where we tend to hold ourselves back so often because we're constantly comparing. We're like, okay, well, they're saying that this works for them, so I should probably be doing that, whether that be with parenting, whether that be with our businesses, our relationships. I mean, so many levels. Do you see that as well? Mm, Absolutely. I mean, I think you're, you're right. As moms, we do compare. And it starts as early as pregnancy. You know, we're comparing like our stage of pregnancy. Is this the, the where we're meant to be? Is this what's meant to be happening? And then it just follows us all through, you know, newborn stage, toddler stage, you know, is your child walking yet? Oh, no, mine's not. Oh, yours is meant to be walking at this age. And it just, it starts so early for us mums. And I think it then gets us to a place where we are, in comparison itis and we are stuck there because we are just so used to comparing that we're now doing it in all parts of our lives and I think when we step into business especially if we are new to business and we are finding our feet we're learning all these things that we're needing to learn we do look to others and we do compare and I think social media plays a huge part in this as well I mean you jump on social media and you compare yourself in every way, shape and form. And so I think it's a matter of sometimes quietening the noise. You know, if you're someone who you feel like you go to social media and you jump off it feeling worse than you jumped on, 
probably take a break or unfollow the people that you're you're being triggered by. Um, but also knowing too that sometimes that is a, an opportunity for you to reflect on what is triggering me here. And, you know, if you are looking, especially when it comes to the business side of things, if you are looking to somebody and you're seeing that they're more successful than you and yet they started after you and you're feeling like you're comparing in a negative way, you know, how can we look at flipping the script on that and seeing that as the possibilities of what you can achieve? You know, there's somebody out there who's achieved what you're wanting to, you know, see that that's an opportunity for you to go, wow, this is possible for me and use it again as as a bit of a fuel to your fire where you can go, okay, I've got this. But, you know, also understanding too that if something is affecting you negatively, sometimes you just need the space to move away from it for a little bit while you're working through some things. But knowing too that if you are in that comparisonitis trap, we have all been there. We have all been there. Yes. And just being kind to yourself as well while you're transitioning through this, this stage um, because we we all go through it. And I think, you know, we all go through it at all stages of business as well. When when we're going through, you know, an up level of whatever kind, we we can look to others and and feel that trap of being comparing ourselves to other people as well. Yes, yes. Thank you for being so vulnerable and sharing that because it is something that we all have gone through, are going through, you know, next level, new devil. It it literally is always going to be there, but you're absolutely right. If we can use those opportunity or as those moments when we're feeling ourselves comparing to others, use those as, you know, reframes. Like, okay, I'm seeing that it is possible. This is what I'm desiring. There's proof that it can be done. Okay, now how do I get there? What steps do I need to take to be that next level version of myself. And I love to dive into a little bit more too about just embracing the journey, about how, you know, just supporting each other and championing each other really raises one another up on this journey because like we were talking, who better understands exactly what we're going through than someone else going through the exact same thing. So if we can stop this whole competition, you know, whether it be motherhood or business, what a better world we'll create for our children, for other business owners, for just the world and humanity in general. What we're doing is impactful and powerful and needed. Mm, oh, I couldn't agree more. And I think you know, it's nice when you connect with like-minded people, you know, because we've shared so many similar experiences. So you can connect on such a deep level, you know, you really resonate with each other because we've gone through so many things. And I think mum to mum, there's just something special about those connections in particular, because we have been through it all, yes. you know, no matter how old your children are, motherhood is such a, a journey to experience and go through and there's so many highs and lows and I think embracing all that you've been through because it shapes the person you are today it, it makes you the person you are today and something we were both talking about off air was you know we feel like as business owners being a mom is almost our superpower in business you know we are so used to juggling a million things at once so we are really good with our time management when it comes to business because we're just used to having everything happen at once, you know, and it just means that we we just have something about us where we are constantly used to change as well. You know, when when you have a baby, you know, your sleep is out the window and you're constantly, your schedule and your routine is changing so quickly that you just learn to adapt and roll with the punches. You are just going through the motions, doing what you need to do to get through it. And I think we can take those skills and those experiences and apply them to business. And that'll help us in business as well, because it means that we are equipped with some of these skills that I just think as mums, they're just incredible skills that we've been given that we can implement into business and help us in business as well. But I'm a strong believer too, that when you're a mum, and obviously a business owner, but in particular, when you're pairing the two together, having that community of like-minded people around you is everything. It is everything. You need to have a support system. You know, it, it's that old saying of it takes a village. 
you know, when you become a mum, it takes a village. And that couldn't be further from the truth. But in particular as well, with when we come into business, we need people around us who get us. We need people who we can go to and be like, you know, we this is something I'm currently dealing with. I'm struggling with this. You can get that advice from other people who have experienced similar. And, you know, there are all sorts of communities that you can be a part of. And we're so lucky in today's day and age that we have the technology we do. We can connect with people across the world like you and I are right now. You know, there are opportunities for us to connect with people. And I definitely think take those opportunities when you see them. And as I said, in particular, when it comes to business, you know, find your people, you know, those people that just get you that that love what you are doing and, you know, that'll that'll help serve you throughout the, the journey that you are on. Um, and it's just, it's just incredible the connections that you can make. Oh my gosh, I love it. And listeners, that advice right there will be the game changer in your business. When you surround yourself with like-minded individuals, it changes everything. It opens up opportunities. It gets you through those days where you're tempted to quit and go back to a nine to five job. It will raise you up even further when you're celebrating a win. So surround yourself with like-minded individuals. And if you can't find someone, just reach out. Reach out to others on social media. Start using it again as a tool to connect. It's meant to be social. It's not meant to tear us down. Renee, this was such an amazing conversation. I could just talk to you all day long. Where can we learn more about you? Yeah, so uh, as we've been talking about social media, I love it too. It's a great connection place. So you can find me on Instagram at Renee.O'Neill. And I too have a podcast as well. So the Mum Boss podcast, which our lovely Amy is going to be a guest on very soon, which I'm very excited about. So you'll have to go over and check that out and, and listen to Amy's episode as well. Yes. Oh, thank you again, Renee, so much for being a part of the narrative change that needs to occur because as a mom, yes, we can have it all. You don't have to choose. Absolutely. Well, I love the work that you're doing and the, the mission that you have, and um, I'm very grateful to be here and be a part of it. Oh my gosh. Right back at you, Renee. Well, until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 